stepping into a new career. As an Omaha firefighter has been a lifelong goal for Kevin Jusick. It's definitely the best job in the world, so it's great to finally be here, um, be through Academy. It's his first week on the job at Station 41. And he's gladly doing the daily probationary firefighter duties. At 32, though, he already has experience saving someone's life. To be able to see the gentleman later and shake his hand and tell him it's glad to have him with us is just an amazing experience. That's Jusick in June of 2019 when he was working as an EMT at the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. Jusick revived a man having a heart attack. The Omaha Fire Department honored him and three other EMTs with the Citizen Life Saving Award. But it was great to be able to actually see him come back and be able to shake his hand and uh, say he's glad to be there and uh, be able to talk to him and things like that. It was really something special. Jusick first wanted to get on the Omaha Fire Department in 2019. So to make sure he was physically ready for the grueling academy, he wanted doctors to check out this persistent cough he had. That's when he found out his life needed saving. I went from Best day of my life, the very next day of like worse hit rock bottom. The normally healthy father of two didn't even have a primary care doctor. So at a clinic, physicians delivered the news of what they saw on a chest x-ray. The doctor came in and she's like, nope, you don't have pneumonia or bronchitis. You have this large mass in your chest and you need to get it checked out immediately. The large mass was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The blood cancer tumor was pushing on his heart. Not only was Jusick's application to be a firefighter put on hold, so was his life. Yeah, it really went from, yeah, I'm just going to get checked out real quick. Still feeling great. Just got the call the, the day prior that I was going to be on the fire department or be able to start the academy class. And then, yeah, having that happen just was a complete gut punch. He started intense chemo treatments immediately and for the next six months completed six rounds of treatment. By June of last year, the cancer was gone. Yep, you are cleared, you're ready to go. Jusick admits he struggled with the chemo and there were times it was tough to keep fighting, but he focused on his name being on the back of his firefighting turnout gear. Omaha Fire promised him a spot when he recovered. I mean, I had my family and everything else, but there's that extra added bonus of, hey, I can get this dream so it's still attainable. I'm just gonna have to fight, fight through it all. Here we go, and this is, this is it. This is what we've, I've worked for. And, yeah. So I beat cancer for it. While he proudly wears his new gear, he knows this day almost didn't come. To be able to get here, um, this is yeah, a dream come true, to be able to be here on the Omaha Fire Department. And so it's just an amazing feeling to know I got through this and I feel like that, okay, I can get through anything. And that's the message Jusick wants to share with his daughters, other cancer survivors, and any Omaha citizen struggling in these trying times. Try to stay positive even in the darkest, downest times. You have to try to find that glimmer of hope uh, and hold on to it and then let it grow. Michelle Bandua, KETV Newswatch 7.